Hey everybody and welcome to a new section of our channel which is called Let's Play Magic 2013 and this is the first video I'm playing with the Exalter Darkness deck which is a black um, white deck uh, the reason I got too many messages from you people looks like you guys enjoy the first videos that I make about magic uh, I've been playing this game for a long time so Let's see, maybe we can both learn together and have fun, okay? So I'm playing with the, again, white-black deck, and this is uh, the Exalted kind of deck. There is a lot of creatures that have the attribute called Exalted, and that means that if that creature attack, okay, and if it's, the only, if it's the only creature attacking, okay, and it's Exalted, then that creature is going to have an extra plus one, plus one counter, for each exalted creature that you have in the battlefield, all right. So that's pretty interesting. We're gonna start with this one, which is a flying exalted creature, one one. Which, it, yeah, it, you see, it, it, it looks very simple. So exalted, whatever one of the creatures that attacks alone, it gets plus one plus one for each card with exalted you have on the battlefield, which is probably not too great at this point. But you guys are gonna see how amazing it is, all right. So, okay, we just got another creature with Exalted. So, see, oh, all those creatures are gonna start adding on my attack. Ooh, the Corridor Paladin, that's not good. This creature has a battle cry. That means that every time that, that creature attack, it's gonna give us a uh, plus one to all the other creatures that are attacking with him. So, that gotta be kind of careful with that. Together, get plus one, plus one, and get first strike. Ooh, that will be tricky. And I gotta get rid of that guy with the, the butter cry. The reason is because right now it's just one, but when you have like a 10 or 4, <laughs> uh, 5 or more soldiers attacking. Oh, you see, that card is very good. Plus one, plus 1 to every creature you have. That's not even funny. You see, it's a 4 and 2, and I'm sure she's gonna attack me. So let's see if we can use this instant card. What it does, it gives me plus one, plus one, and also first strike. If it has first strike, that means I'm attacking first. So if I kill the creature with my attack or defense, the other, the other, the attack of the enemy doesn't count. All right. So right now I'm gonna block. It's a one, one. But you see my instant. It's gonna become a two, two. But with first strike, uh, the paladin is only four, two. So with that, that should do it. Okay. That, that was actually the perfect. Uh, play for this turn because otherwise I'm gonna be in big big trouble. Uh, that card that I'm putting in place is a uh, is exalted also as an enchantment whatever creature attack alone is gonna be able to tap uh, one of the enemy creatures okay and also it's exalted even if it's just an enchantment so that's pretty good because I already you see all the sudden my 1-1 one, one, it become a 3-3 three, three. why it was a 1-1 one, one, right that creature itself is exalted, so that means it's another plus one one, and I got the enchantment that is also exalted, so it's another plus one one one. So that's the key about this deck, the black and white. It's very very interesting and tricky. And this one, uh, the one that I'm playing against, Odric, is commanding the knight desk, uh, which is kind of the soldier deck, which is kind of tricky. Also, oh, you see, wow, see another defender and exalted. Nice, another exalted. So we're gonna keep adding and adding and adding creature. Defender, in case you don't know, that creature only can defend, it can attack with that one. But it's pretty good because it's a zero four, right? So now this creature instead of be a one on one, it's gonna be what? A four four, which is awesome. <laughs> it's flying. So that's uh, actually is a good um uh, advantage that I have against the knight deck. The knight deck is very, very difficult. There is I'm gonna play later on with the, the night deck and you guys are gonna see the different. The whole idea is to populate the battlefield with soldiers, small soldiers, but it's quantity. That's the problem, alright? And they have some very amazing enchantment that are allowed to increase the power and the toughness and uh, defense for an attack, I'm sorry, for the creatures. So it's kinda difficult, I will say that. Alright, so you have another soldier. This is a 2-1. But with the enchantment they have, it's at 3-2. Uh, you see, in two seconds, all of a sudden... Ah, this one is tricky. This one, actually, if you pay one land, he can tap one of my units. So that's not good, just because it's gonna, he can screw up my attack or defense. Uh, 
let me use my defender against any of those uh, he doesn't have any mana on his hand so I hope it's not nothing extra coming no instant attack or anything so okay we were able to hold two of the damage which it wasn't too bad oh finally a black uh, mad, uh, uh, should use this one I should probably go for the doom blade and get rid of one of the his creatures especially yeah that one the one that is gonna tap mine so sayonara buddy which is good and now I'm gonna keep attacking with my beautiful flying creature with exalted okay again this is the key of the the, the deck and actually there's a couple of cards I don't know we're gonna be able to see it during this game which actually is gonna force you and your enemy to only attack with one unit which is the whole benefit for you but your enemy is gonna get all screwed up <laughs> well, let's see hopefully we can get lucky and see that car so you see he's actually ooh, he's getting very powerful that's not good and remember we always play the harder, hardest difficulty to make the games more interesting attractive uh, oh that's not good Right, that cre that actually that enchantment actually ex exiled my creature, so I'm now in really big trouble. I think I can use my defender to stop that one. Uh, yeah. Oof. Well, at least I I know that Aldric doesn't have any cards on his hand to any weird attack, which is great. Uh, oh, oh, this is <laughs> this is the card that I was talking about. See. No more than one creature can attack in each combat, which is perfect. And now I need to figure out which one I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna be probably using this one, the Absorbed uh, Soul. What it does, you can block, but that creature is unblockable. All right. So even if it's a crappy one-one, they can block it. And remember, they had an enchantment that every time that one creature attack alone, it become exalted. So. Uh, let's see. Let's see the next turn. Right now, I'm really, really in trouble. So, hopefully, we're gonna have a a good end of this video. I'm not sure yet. But uh, okay, another land. Oh, and I got another exalted. Yeah, that was exalted, and also had haste. Haste means that I can put in the battlefield and attack in the same turn. But I, at this point, I don't want to do it. But I'm gonna be attacking with my absorbed. See, absorbed soul. I'm gonna be able to tap one of the enemy units. Now I become exalted, and I got how many exalted creature in my in my deck? One, two more, right? So this creature is gonna be a four-four unblockable. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> if that is not beautiful, I don't know what it is. All right, <laughs> tormented soul is a beautiful card. It, it really um, make a great addition to this uh, deck. So. And sure, they probably people see us. Yeah, hey, unblockable one, one. Yeah, but <laughs> buddy, with the correct enchantment and creatures, you can be, you can do some serious, serious damage. This is exalted and haste. I'm just probably gonna receive the damage. I don't wanna get too fancy. Uh, now I need to be careful because if I don't kill this guy in this turn, <laughs> sayonara, right? Okay, this one, blah blah blah, flying, but he can't block. So let me see. Uh, let's see, tormented soul is gonna make how much damage? That it's gonna be okay. We're blocking that one. Okay, and we tap that one. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna kill it this guy in this turn, so I'm gonna in serious trouble now. I think I got enough. Uh, to be able to hold for one more turn. Let's see, it's a 6 5 that one. I need to sacrifice. Oh, wow. Battle cry. Alright. <laughs> Looks like this is going to be a sh very short uh, session of uh, Let's Play Magic. <laughs> First and last program. <laughs> Alright, so he's stacking with a 6 5. I can sacrifice one creature. I can sacrifice this one. Uh, yeah, because there's only one, one more damage I need to do, and the the tormented soul with only one one I can just 
take care of business, right? Hey, we got this one. Awesome. We another tormented soul. Awful. So, yeah, that's about it. Sayonara, Mr. Aldrich. We are ready to kill you very easily. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are enjoying. Okay, let me finish this first. Okay, because I'm still not sure. Okay, two, two, three, three. Let me see. He doesn't have any cards on his hand, so I guess that should do it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. This is the first episode. Uh, we're going to try to come up with more tips um, and all kind of things during the game. Um, well, uh, we're waiting for your comments, people. Okay? Thank you for watching the first episode of Let's Play Magic. Take it easy.